One of the cool things about the Z Fold 7 is we have a wider front cover screen, gives us more content, a nicer typing experience. However, you'll notice that on your Z Fold 7 that most of your UI elements and the text, especially the text, is always really small. And if we go into the display options for our front cover screen, we're pretty limited. We don't have screen layout and zoom, at least I don't on my Z Fold 7. We pretty much just have font size and style, which this does make a difference for your system fonts, but it won't help you with any of the application text. So like YouTube comments or anything like that, it's all gonna stay the same. So like here we are in YouTube, look how small this text is, you know, and it's just like this on the front cover screen. If we open up the main screen here, switch it over, uh, you know, it's a lot more legible. So I'm gonna show you a little hack to help make the front screen more usable. We covered this a couple years ago, but I feel like we should revisit it with the Z Fold 7 being so popular. So the first thing you want to do is go into your settings, and we're going to scroll all the way down until we get to About Phone. And then once you're here, you're going to go into Software Information, and then you're going to tap on Build Number repeatedly. It's going to prompt you to enter in your passcode, and that'll allow us to enable developer options. So we're just going to go back a couple screens until we get back to our settings, and now we have developer options. So you want to scroll all the way down, quite a ways, and we're looking for one particular setting here. And the setting you're looking for is minimum width. So you can see that mine is set to 411. So I'm not really sure what this stands for. Perhaps dots per inch, I'm not really sure. But basically it works like this. The lower you set this number, the bigger all of your UI elements and the text on your screen is gonna be. And the larger you set this number to, the more it's gonna shrink the UI elements and the more text you're gonna get on screen. Everything's gonna be a lot smaller. So the default on my Z Fold 7 is 411. Now this is gonna vary from fold to fold. This will be dependent upon which font you're using, which size of font, uh, et cetera. There's a lot of little variables here that can dictate what this number is gonna be. But basically when you're making this adjustment, you want it to be within about 50 to 60 points of your original value. So I'm taking note. So for me, it's 411. I'm gonna go ahead and take this down to about 350. We'll go ahead and hit done. Boom, right off the bat, you're gonna see my text just got a lot bigger. Look at my UI elements. Looks a lot more like the main screen. And we'll go ahead and look at my notifications here. Look at the text is quite a bit bigger. So if we go back to that, we adjust this back. You'll see the difference here real quick. Hit OK. All right, we're back to where we were, much smaller. Now, again, you can even make this a bigger number. So let's go ahead and make this something like, I don't know, 465. We don't want to go too big. Hit OK. Now look at it. The text is even smaller. We have more UI elements on the screen. So you can basically use this minimum width as a fine-tune adjustment for your UI elements and for the text on your screen. So there's a couple caveats to this. Let me go ahead and clear mine out and make it the default. That's what I want to stick with. All right, we're going to hit done here. All right, we're all set. So here's a couple things. You don't want to go too low or too high of a number. Let's say you take this down to like 250 or you bring this number up to like six or 650. The UI elements in your screen is going to behave very strangely. And if you do happen to do this by accident, you want to get back into the settings and you want to disable developer options right up here at top. That's going to go ahead and reset everything. One more caveat that's really important about this setting is when you're in here adjusting the minimum width, this is only showing the minimum width for the screen that you're currently using. So we're currently using the front outer screen, so it's only showing us the value of 411 for the front outer screen, and when we adjust this value, it's only adjusting for the front outer screen. So for example, if we open up the front main screen and go into developer options, and we go find the same setting, minimum width, you'll see that it has a different value than what we had for the front cover screen. The same thing applies to here. You only want to adjust this like 50 to 60 in each direction, and this will adjust the uh, text and UI elements on your main display as well. So basically, you're going to use the same value to make adjustments for both screens, and the way to go about that is just to open up the screen that you want to adjust the value for. We've got the main screen open now, and then we can close it up and go back into developer options with the front outer screen. So this is a real nice way to fine tune the UI layout and the text size 
on either one of your screens and you can do it independently. But again, do be very careful with plugging in those values. Don't go too extreme. All right, if you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down below. I really do appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.